Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We have our first snowstorm, first blizzard of 2024. So I need to clear the path to my bees and I need to check the entrances, remove the snow from the entrance because I run only single, single openings. So they probably are covered right now and also I have to clear the dead bees from the bottom board. I really love the snow and everything is beautiful. It also provides additional insulation to the bees and uh, and I really like uh, the snow and I don't like warm winters because bees move a lot and consume a lot more food. This is really ideal. Today is around 32 degrees and with the weekends, they're expecting temperatures in uh, negatives, like uh, minus two, minus three. So it's gonna get really cold. Let me get to my tractor. Oh man, it's covered. and see what's going on in my VR. Okay guys, here we are by our bee yard, by our house. Uh, we had blizzard last yesterday and we're expecting more snow tonight. So it's gonna be around 12 to 15 inches, what they say, when it's done. As you can see, 
the entrance is there's no a uh, lot of snow accumulation because we had so, uh, snow blowing on the side As you can see on the trees it's on the like, uh, side of the tree so they're not they didn't get covered but still I want to uh, clean the bottom board and see if there's any dead bees I made a couple of these uh, this is from the uh, like a bot uh, bottle or you know like glass bottle cleaner they get uh, and then I just put a pipe and then just scoop the bees out you know make an angle and this is just uh, this is uh, from the panel like uh, for sheep and stuff it's like scrap metal I mean it works so it doesn't have to be nothing sophisticated Basically, what I do is just uh, remove the mouse guard and then just go on the side, kind of scoop out the dead bees. Because sometimes uh, dead bees can block the entrance completely because I, I don't run upper entrance. There's no hole here. I have the closed system and after every snowstorm, I have to come and clean it. There's no very many bees. And it's pretty, bottom board is pretty clean, so that's good. So basically, that's all I do. Uh, close the mouse guard, because if you don't have this mouse guard, you know, mice can move in and create like disaster inside a hive, you know, eat all the comb and honey. So. You have snow geese coming. That's a beautiful sight. I love that sound. Hi guys. <laughs> Just enjoying nature. Clean, you know, there's no a lot of dead bees. So we had warm weather up to this week. We had like 50s. So bees uh, were dying outside because they had cleansing flights. They didn't cluster for a long time. But uh, that's why there's no a lot of dead bees on the bottom board. Very few, few bees. Yeah, as you can see, there's only few bees. Usually, when I clean this bottom board in February there's a lot more dead bees because they've been clustered for so long but now they only had a few days that's why uh, there's no dead bees so I'm gonna finish cleaning this up and placing the mouse guards and finish making path around my beehives I don't remove 
any snow like uh, on top because that's really good insulation and on the sides just entrance because uh, for you guys that have upper entrance you don't even have to do this but I want to because I run only only the bottom entrance I have the closed system uh, with micro crop climate inside with only no draft cold air coming in and then creating condensation I, I don't have problem with condensation at all because it's all closed system so check your bees guys if you have a snowstorm if you have bad weather especially after blizzard because sometimes this lid can come off or check if they're blocked and you know if they have dead bees on the bottom but uh check your bees and that should be all for this video see you next time